Hello students, good time to all, I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan, welcome to the YouTube channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss Euler's formula. Let us begin. We know that the Taylor series expansion of sin function and cosine function as sin theta is expanded theta minus theta q divided by 3 factorial plus theta to the power 5 divided by 5 factorial plus minus dot dot dot. An expansion of cos theta is equal to 1 minus theta square divided by 2 factorial plus theta to the power fourth divided by 4 factorial minus dot dot dot. An expansion of exponential function as e to the power x is expanded as 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x q divided by 3 factorial plus dot dot dot. So, we can expand e to the power iota theta e to the power i theta is equal to this manner 1 plus i theta plus i theta square divided by 2 factorial plus i theta q divided by 3 factorial plus i theta to the power 4th divided by 4 factorial plus i theta to the power fifth divided by 5 factorial plus dot dot dot. Is equal to 1 plus i theta plus i square theta square divided by 2 factorial plus i q theta q divided by 3 factorial plus i fourth theta fourth divided by 4 factorial plus i fifth theta fifth divided by 5 factorial plus dot 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 is equal to 1 plus i theta here i square is equal to minus 1 so minus theta square divided by 2 factorial again i q that is minus i minus i theta q divided by 3 factorial plus i fourth is equal to 1 theta to the power fourth divided by 4 factorial plus i 5 that is i theta to the power 5 divided by 5 factorial plus dot dot dot. Now, we can arrange it as 1 minus theta square divided by 2 factorial plus theta fourth divided by 4 factorial plus dot 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 plus iota terms like theta minus theta q divided by 2 3 factorial plus theta to the power 5 divided by 5 factorial dot 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 is 
that segment 1 minus theta square divided by 2 factorial plus theta 4 divided by 4 factorial like this is the series of cos theta. We write it as cos theta plus i. These sections are the expansion of sin theta i sin theta. So, e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta that one is known as the Euler's formula at the Euler's formula. Now, we can found out the polar form of complex number to found the polar form of complex number let me prefer a point here p having the coordinate x y and uh, it is represent that complex number z is equal to x plus i y the real axis that one is the imaginary axis that length is y that length is x angle theta that is r in that of triangle cos theta is equal to x y r in that figure cos theta is equal to x by r which implies x is equal to r cos theta and sin theta is equal to y by r which implies y is equal to r sin theta therefore the complex number z is equal to x plus i y in place of x we write r cos theta plus in terms of y i write i r sin theta taking r as common we have cos theta plus i sin theta but we know cos theta plus i sin theta is equal to e to the power i theta so r e to the power i theta which is equal to z z is equal to r into e to the power i theta that is the polar form of complex number that is the polar form of complex number z is equal to r e to the power i theta where r here r is equal to taking the square x square plus y square we have r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta taking r square as common now x square plus y square is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta 
r square as common. So, cos square theta plus sin square theta. Here, cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. So, r square is equal to x square plus y square, which implies r is equal to under root of x square plus y square. And what be the value of theta? If we take tan of theta, which is equal to y by x or theta is equal to tan inverse y by x, that theta is said to be as the argument of that complex number. So, argument of z is equal to theta argument of that complex number is equal to theta. Next, we have e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta we have e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta from that of Euler's formula. If I take theta replaced by minus of theta, replacing theta by minus theta. So, e to the power minus theta is equal to cos of minus theta plus i sin of minus theta. We have e to the power minus i theta is equal to cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta. So, minus i sin theta let that one be equation number i that one be equation number double i now we add and subtract these two equations first adding these two equations adding equation 1 and 2 we have e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus i theta is equal to Adding these two equations, we have 2 cos theta or cos theta is equal to e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus i theta divided by 2 cos theta in terms of e to the power i theta. Again subtracting equation 2 from 1. Subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, we get e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta. So, cost term cancel out, we have 2 i sin theta or sin theta is equal to e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta divided by 2 by sin theta in terms of e to the power i theta. Okay. Now, we can easily solve a question by using the Euler's formula or we can say the complex form of the polar form of complex number as example to find out the value of i to the power i. In place of i, I can write cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is equal to 
0 sin pi by 2 is equal to 1. So, it will be i that is in the form of Euler's formula to the power i. That entire term is written as e to the power i pi by 2 to the power i multiplying this we have e to the power i square pi by 2 i square is equal to minus 1. So, we have e to the power minus pi by 2. So, the result of e to the i to the power i is equal to e to the power minus pi by 2. So, with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of Euler's formula e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta and the polar form of complex number a z is equal to r into e to the power i theta where r is equal to x square plus y square under root and theta is equal to tan inverse y by x which is known as the argument of that complex number. Next cos theta in terms of e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus i theta divided by 2 sin theta is equal to e to the power minus i theta minus e to the power minus i theta divided by 2 i. And example related to that particular Euler's formula and the polar form of complex number. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.